Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing press on nails. That those are the uh, base stands. Then you see my four four nails, and then I have the city putty to uh, to attach the four nails to the st nail base stand. Then I have my polish, which is the orange polish, and then I have my orange stones along with my AB stones, and I have my box that I use when I, I would use after I do the nails. So in that matter, let's get on with the video. Now here you'll see me cutting off the little pieces of uh, the silly putty because it doesn't take a lot. It just only take a little little piece, and you rub your hands because it's it's still hard and it's still cold. So the colder it is, the harder it gets. So once you start rubbing with your fingers in your hand, and then it'll start softening up. And that, now you see I will be putting on, well, finding which nail fit the stand the best and I started off with the uh, I started off with the baby finger all the way up to the, the thumb so I, that's the baby fingers is going on first and then once I start that then I keep going down to the thumb and maybe Uh, uh, after I put the video, after I put the uh, silly putty on each nail, oh, sorry about the nails because I um, I like these nails, but they they like they slip off in a minute off the uh, that little thing that's holding it together. So sorry about the mess. And the reason why I made this mess because each nail is pretty. I mean, they all different sizes, so and either one of them fitted my fitted my base. So therefore, I had to go through each one of them, take them out, lean it up against it, pop it up in there on there, so to see would it fit the base. Because if it don't fit the base or my nails, so you know what I'm saying, what the purpose. But so I got a few of them that, that fit it well. And that's why uh, nails and stuff is everywhere, cl cluttering up my, my area. But I'm gonna soon move it, so don't trip. But anyway, um, I'm putting down, I'm getting ready to uh, put the nails on, I mean the polish on, as soon as I get through with the, the uh, fitting of the nails. Make sure you press it on there, you make sure it's thick real good, because if, if you don't want it to be real loose and you polish it, and then next thing you know, the nail done popped off and then I messed it up, and then you know, God forbid if it fall on you, now you got nails on your body, or nails on your clothes and so make sure you press that on there real good and then that way you'll be able to polish it polish it better and you won't have to worry about worrying about it it's falling out but as for these nails i'm gonna use them you know because i still I mean, i'm gonna use them because i don't want to waste them but i did order me some uh they better they come in a box and they all separate, like you go from uh, nine, what is it, nine to zero, and zero is the highest, and nine is the lowest, yeah, that's it. And so, well, nine is the lowest, the lowest nail, 
as there is the bigger nail. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was going. I'm ordering an, another one with the box in the case, so that way I won't have to have this problem no more. Then I got them everywhere. I mean, they just kept popping out. I mean, they just went berserk. And you see that right there. So I'm trying to make sure I don't get this too far, the nails too far over in my uh, in my in my area. So let's get on with the video. Then if I need to go over some more stuff, I'll be getting back in, getting, getting back on. What I'm doing now is putting this, taking a, if you like this uh, video, uddy, so far, rubbing it in my hand, and I'm, I'm putting it at the very top of the nail. Share, uh, I was like, doing it like in the middle, but it kept on comment. breaking off. So I, I love com comments, so leave loose. a comment. That's why I'm letting you know from experience. I always put it at the very top. See up there at the very top, I got the silly putty, and make sure you, make sure you uh, warm it with your fingernails, I mean with your fingertips. And then that way you'll get a better results than putting them in the middle and not warm, not uh, warming them up. So I learned the hard way. So now I know, and you get you'll be able to polish your nails without any popping off. You'll see. Let's finish the video. to let y'all know this polish I think it's by Sally Hansen uh, gel polish um, it's a beautiful orange that's why I hate I don't know and it's tag fell off because it's an older my niece gave me that polish a long time ago so that's why I'm, I'm I like it because it's pretty and it's a nice beautiful orange so Sally Hansen I think I that's where this polish came from all right continue with the video I would be working with the um, AB stones. Those uh, triangle dishes are, I call them, tra they trays. They hold the stones in, but when I have, get ready to get my stones out, I wouldn't have such a hard time, you know, trying to find a stone when I got just laid it in the tray.
I have two triangle dishes for a dish for my AB stones and for my orange uh, stones. And you see I'm putting them on straight down, but you have to be very careful because as like I said, I use my base as my gel, I mean as my glue. So that it'll be sliding off, so I have to be really careful. But the trick is, once you put your, your stones on, the big stones, you take the little stones and it kind of kind of um, secure it from from sliding. Watch, you'll see once I put the once I put the AB stones in there, then I'm gonna be adding the small stones on the side so that way it'll secure it better and it won't run as much. And I use my um, my my wax pen to as you did you saw it I had put it close to the for it to straighten it out. So you'll see I'm using my orange small stones to balance out the A B stones, the big stones, and to keep them from sliding. And I and that's how I always put well I learned that to put the small stones between the A B stones so it won't slide no more. So let's finish watching the video and you'll see where I'm coming, what I'm talking about. After we put on the first set of stones, we're gonna use the top coat for the and put it under the lamp for 30 to 60 seconds. If more, if not more, of which is 90 seconds. But in but in the meantime, we're gonna make sure that the the uh, rhinestones doesn't slide off or come off while it's under the lamp. So it's not as bad as I put it. Because soon, you know, some of them don't come off because of the the the, um, the little rhinestones is holding the big rhinestones together. So I just want to tell you that it's okay if it if it goes under the lamp with uh, everything else. But when you put the top coat on, you do not put the top coat over your bling, over your uh, rhinestones. I will be doing the other nails the same as I did the ones before as for putting on my bling, my rhinestones, and putting on my top coat. So I will be doing the exact same thing for the other hand. So watch me work. at the end of my video I hope you like my press on nails I'm very proud I'm so proud of myself I'm getting better and better and I just want you to, to like them if you like them just uh, share them and send a comment and if you like them press the like button and thank you for watching my video have a good day